tomorrow night. Games are played. So you want to kiss me? Of course I do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know this beats a girl Kyrie B coming out to a new video. So today we're going to be talking about Love Island Season 10, Episode 24. We do not count the unseen bits, so that is why it's numbered that way. Anyway, this is the first day of Cass Amor. The first day of Cass Amor. We know that Molly's back. Yeah, that shouldn't have happened. Anyway, so the girls get sent off to Cass Amor. They're basically chatting. The guys come in. Ella and Uzi know each other from, you know, past job. A past modeling job you know she knew uzi and dot uh, whatever um so we meet the guys um we find out that elon is 22 which even though he according to who he had his sights set on which were whitney he's 22 and you got to understand that whitney does not go for younger guys that is the main reason why she didn't get along with andre and she basically closed him off we know that Lachlan is 27, so Lachlan is older, he's more well put together, and based off all the girls, they basically found Lachlan more attractive out of the six guys. They found Lachlan and Uzi the most attractive. We basically see Uzi and Ella have a chat, they're basically catching up and everything. Your face. I don't know. I was gassed. I was so happy for you. Where? The guy asked you, are you, not gonna, are you not ready to sleep in the same bed as someone else? Yeah, you can sleep on my bed. <laughs> you know, she seems a little bit more receptive to trying to get to know him because that's a familiar face. So we don't know how that goes. You know, this is the second guy that Ella knows from outside of the villa. So we don't know how that goes. You know, you don't know if that's going to go anywhere. I don't know. We see Whitney and Lachlan chat and, you know, he, they have good chat. Yeah. What are the girls saying? What are you saying? Um, well, obviously, let's start with you. What are you saying? Me, well, with me, obviously, I know I get guys like mm. light work, mm. but like I know what I want, yeah, and I'm not really into settling, so yeah. like you're not into settling. No, I didn't settle, hence why I'm single. Oh, I actually look beautiful. Oh, my god, <laughs> I guess time will tell on here. And you know, Whitney, she's like, you know, she put in that chat on like Whitney, she got game, like she know what she's doing, like I tell you, um, Lachlan basically asks Whitney, like, oh, do you want to share a bed? And, you know, Whitney's like, I guess, which is so funny. Um, we see Elam and Catherine chatting, and we can tell that Catherine's, like, pretty reserved, but, you know, she's trying to, you know, have a chat. Yeah, like... Do you, what, do you see yourself fully closed off with him? No, I'm not, like, we've both said, like, obviously we're not fully closed off. We're open to obviously getting to know other people or whatnot. But I don't know what, like, connection I'll find in here. And I don't know if he'll find another connection out there oh, yeah. as well. Do you just want to just do you and stay true to yourself? Right? Yeah, like, I'm not going to fake anything. I'll be honest. Like, 100%. If I'm feeling on to my, I'll be honest. As long as you're true to yourself, as long as you go with your feelings. Yeah. It was okay. It was an okay chat, but, you know... It is what it is. Even before they started chatting with other people, you know, they they were asking who's closed off, and obviously Ella's closed off. But and they were asking Catherine what's her status with Scott, and she was like, um, you know, everything's going good, but she's still open. And it's so funny because Whitney was just like, you know, are you sure? Are you okay? <laughs> no, but the thing is, is that what's confusing a bit is that we would think that Catherine and Scott are quote unquote closed off or whatever. But they're still saying that they're open. And the thing is, they're both on that same page of them both being open to explore different options. I don't think they ever had that chat, I guess, to say that they're closed off from knowing other people. Because when you look at the chat where he's like, you know, it's just them in the villa. That wasn't a closed off. It was for right now. So I don't know where, where that getting. I'm just getting... I'm just thinking that Catherine needs to have like that explicit closed off talk or that exclusive talk or that like something with a title talk because they're I guess she's just still gonna have they're just still gonna have that openness to their relationship because it's going really well. It was like even Whitney had to like double check her, like, are you sure you're like after all that you're still open? But they're basically both on the same page that they're both being open. Um anyway, 
she's chatting to Elon. She said that like his vibe is a little, you know, it was something interesting about his vibe. So, you know, she's giving him a chance to really chat. Um, we also see Jess talk to a guy named Zachary. And, you know, it, it's matching to how Sammy looks. And then we see Katie talk to a guy named Cody. And we don't know who Leah's chatting to, but she's chatting to somebody out of there. We don't know. Um, back in the villa, the guys, you know, they kind of seem a little sad. Like, Scott, Scott looks a little bit stressed. Like, that man was stressed. Uh, you know, they packed the girls' bags. You know, Tyreek, he actually packed pretty well for Ella. Um, I don't know what the other guys packed, but, you know, they got their stuff. I think Katie did not get anything prop out of the bag from Zach. So that was probably the only thing that we know that. Um, the next morning in the villa, the boys wake up, they're chatting, you know. You know, Zach is like, he's gonna go crack on, you know. Everybody basically confirms that Tyreek is the only one that's closed off. Everybody else is open, fair game. The girls come into the villa and we see Molly. They see Molly and Mitchell and, you know, was the biggest person that was shocked by Molly entering the villa. So, in the villa, Molly was like, she gotta go chat to Zach. You know, when everybody's like trying to like figure out who's people's types or whatever, you know, everybody noticed that Molly was very silent. So, when Zach and Molly were having a chat, she was like, I saw everything. I was trying to figure out if you're still thinking about me. This is this and that. The thing is, is that when Molly left, they were never closed off. Were they going in the same, a decent direction? Him saying that, you know, Molly might be the one. Yes. But if the fact that this man didn't leave the villa with you should tell you a lot. The fact that you're saying, oh, you're going to stay, you're going to stay out the villa, you're going to stay out the villa. No, if he didn't leave that villa with you, that should tell you that man does not care like granted they had a good connection as they claim to say but the fact that you left the villa he didn't leave he still is what was he what do you think what do you think he was gonna do what did you think he's gonna do if he's still in the villa what did you think he's gonna do he's gonna obviously couple with somebody he's gonna probably get to know somebody like what did you think he's gonna do once he didn't leave that villa with you that was over molly i don't know why she's trying to like you know She's trying to make this guy feel bad, and he's trying to, like, be like, oh, uh, you know, da 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 Like, he was trying to chat his way out of it, and it was just, it wasn't going. It wasn't. I feel like it made it harder, though, for me to see you looking happy and interested with other people and, like, doing the things that I thought was just the we did. You have your complete right to be annoyed in aspects, I guess. Kisses in bed, like, that's a lot. Mm. And I was like, oh, he's not thinking of me anymore. Like, really, I feel uh, stupid, yeah. like... There isn't really a reason why I feel like I, again, I don't know, wanted to know myself where we was at. I don't know. Is that because in all honesty, I don't know, mm. he was gone. The thing is, is that she was trying to make that guy feel bad, of, you know, about, you know, him trying to kiss Katie. And he's like, oh, why were you, you know, why were you trying to kiss her? And he was trying to, like, chat his way out of it. It wasn't going to work, you know. He was like, oh, why, you looked at me like you looked at... I thought when he looked at me, it was like something special. But you looked at me like you looked at Katie and looked at Whitney and da 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 da. And I'm just like, this is a reason number one why you shouldn't have added her back to the show. Like she has way too much outside information that she's bringing in. That's really an unfair advantage. But you know, she's just like, yeah, you try to kiss Katie. You're having dates with Whitney. Da 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 da. da. And I'm just like, okay. Anyway, based on this episode, you know, we basically know, all the guys basically realized that Catherine, it was a surprise that Catherine was really open, um, because to be honest, from the viewer's eye, we thought Scott and Catherine are going strong, but they're both on the same page of not being closed off. Um, I believe somebody in the comments said that, you know, C Catherine might be one to recouple. Mm, I'm... I still, you know, even though her moving about in Casa might, you know, shake somebody, but, you know, it's kind of planned. As soon as, I knew they weren't um, closed off, but, you know, based on the preview, the preview was a little bit shocking, and I'm going to get to that later. But the thing is, is that we know how Catherine operates. When somebody 
once she doesn't have a closed off on her relationship, she's going to get to know somebody. She, like, she just got to know Montel, same way when Scott was in the villa. She's going to get to know Elam and all the other guys in Casa Mort. She even said in the morning debrief that um, she was holding herself back because she didn't want to be disrespectful to Scott because she obviously knows that what she has with Scott is very much pretty strong, pretty strong enough to be, you know, seen if it's going to be disrespectful or not. But the thing is, they're both open. They're both open to getting to know people. They're both open to cracking off other people and trying to explore. Do I think they're going to recouple? I still don't think they're going to recouple. I still, I feel like they're going to just explore Casa Moore. Casa Moore is three to four days tops. If Elam or whoever in that Casa Moore is going to change her head enough for her to bring him back, Ugh, please don't do that. Just please don't do that. I'm still rocking with Catherine. I'm still rocking with Catherine Scott. Like, I don't really care. The only thing is that the preview, we were getting to that. We see the, um, the raunchy racist challenge and whatever. And we obviously see that after a challenge, which is outside of a challenge, Cass, um, Catherine and Elon have a kiss. And I'm just like, no. But then again, you know... It is what it is, you know, she just has to test the waters. I don't know. I don't know what prompted that kiss, you know. We don't know. Um, with that being said, if they send a postcard to the boys, if they, um, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I just don't know. That kiss really just shook people. And I, it shook me because I was like, okay, in the challenge, cool, cool, cool. But once you do something out of the challenge, that's like a big no. Once you do something out of a challenge, something that's not prompted by Love Island, <laughs> whatever, that's when you're, that's a big no. And if she, you know, when movie night comes around, Catherine is going to have a lot of cast some more moments on movie night. And I'm just like, we're going to be, it's going to be a long time for us. It's going to be a long time. She's going to have a lot of moments because she's going to have, you know, her saying is better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. Obviously, that kiss is going to be in there. Um, yeah, I feel like what they have, because we, today we found out they've been couple up for 15 days. I feel like their connection of being together for 15 days and what they've been through is a pretty much stronger than her three or four day connection with Elon. If that's, you know, that's going to be a thing. I don't know. We don't even know what Scott's going to do, what Scott's chats are like with the, uh, with the girls in um, the villa. We don't know who he's going to be talking to. We don't know. You know, we didn't see it in the preview, but that might pop up in the episode and surprise us. So, you know, we got to keep that, you know, thing open. But like I said, I'm still rocking with Scott, still rocking with Catherine, still rocking with Catherine. Like, we're just going to have to write it out. And, you know, like previous seasons, Casimir was the worst but then at the end, it still came out. They still came out on top. Okay, they still came out on top. So we can just keep going through it. Um, Tyreek, for the most part, he seems like to be behaving himself. So, you know, that's a, pri that's a pretty much surprise for a lot of people. But that was pretty much expected for a lot of people because Ella warned him. They're closed off. But then, granted, they're not in a relationship. But we'll, we're just going to have to get through two more three more episodes of casa and finally we get to see what happens next like what it is what's gonna happen i feel like if anything zachariah might bring molly back just because you know he put all this you know she put all this like oh why you did this why you did that onto him if he does not bring back molly then he, yeah but he done told her that he doesn't. He didn't want have no other girl to really speak to. So, with that being said, and his connection with Katie is not that strong. So, Molly's probably gonna be entering the villa. And I know all the girls are gonna be so shocked to see her there. But this was day one of Casa, and it is what it is. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, like the video, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns, and subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Peace.